hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel thank you so much for coming back my name is fidaus osman if you're new here i really appreciate you and to my old gang guys i really appreciate you all please go ahead and like this video if it's something you like so yeah this video is going to be about how i got my u.s visa a lot of you guys have asked me especially the day i uploaded the video of me in u.s portland somebody like as soon as i uploaded a video somebody just sent me an email please can you teach me how you got your visa i'm like what is it haven't you done enough relax is it that bad you really want to leave germany like that to the u.s why like this person's like can you teach me how to apply for the visa please i'm like oh my god anyways bye. yeah we're going to talk about it how i got my u.s visa very simple process nothing to be scared of so yeah let's get right into the video <laughs> All right, so before we get into the, um, the video, I got this product, which I think I want to hook you guys on because I love it because it's like multifunctional. You have an alarm, a charger. Let's unbox it real quick and let's see this thing. I'm so happy for this. And uh, any good thing, I like to just put you guys on. If you guys are interested, go to my link, my description box. There's a link there and purchase yours. But I, I'm just going to show you guys how this thing works quickly. Here you have the charging parts then here is um the light together with the clock your alarm clock i really love this thing so much easy so what you have to do is you have this and that so you just have to place it on it the setup is so easy guys this comes very handy because this you can have it as like a bed lamp and then charging your phone at the same time instead of like putting your phone on like what's the name in the what the plug and then you have the wire on the bed and all of that that thing is really messy so when you have this you just place your phone here and it's charging that's it. i'm going to put it on right now so you guys can see how this works okay this thing also comes with a manual just in case you are confused on how to set it up it comes with a manual the manual is pretty easy to use all right so i'm going to operate it now if you want to put on the light and you just tap here like here so it goes higher then higher then off and here is where you can use to set up your timer click here and then you can set up your timer and then here is for the um the alarm sound if you want the alarm sound to set it this here you can change also here So yeah, you have different different sounds to choose from depending on what you like. Okay. I like this one. I prefer this one. Then here is for snooze. Okay. So yeah. You can increase the volume or decrease. And you use these ones to set like your time. There's AM, there's PM. When you follow the, the manual, it shows you everything. It's very easy, okay? Yeah. And also place your phone here to charge as well. Very easy. I like this kind of, um, you know, I like this setup. I like this setup. So if you're interested, go to my description box and then just tap in the link and order yours. Okay? Bye. <laughs> So one thing I know for sure is if you are out of like Ghana or Africa or anywhere, getting other countries visa like is very easy. So as far as you comply to whatever they need, whatever their consulate, the embassy needs. So for me, my US visa, when I was a student in Germany, I applied for a conference. Um, I'll mention you know, the, conference, the conference. So I applied for a conference. So my US visa was um, a B1, B2 non-immigrants visa or a conference visa or whatever it is but it's under the section of non-immigrant visa b1 b2 okay so i applied for a conference so i used the conference to get my us visa now i was actually going to go for this conference but um i wasn't able to go because of work obligations i was supposed to go for this conference that was just me um in may in columbus ohio but i had some work obligations to, to do in europe so I couldn't go so because of this conference i got like my five-year visa so and recently i had some free time on me i'm like okay let's see what's happening on the other side of the continent so i, I still use my u.s visa my my visa to travel to the u.s now it doesn't mean that if you apply for a conference and you don't get to go for the conference you can't actually use a visa 
you can use their visa because usually they give you like five years so it's valid so far as it's not expired you can still use your visa so as an engineering student when i was in a student as an engineering student you guys know i studied msc material science and engineering i looked for conferences that resonates to the program i study okay so i applied for this conference ace tech it's about it's iron and steel conference that happens every annually in the u.s iron and association of iron and steel technology conference so it's about iron and steel conferences and this is also related to my field of study material science engineering it also includes refractories and all of that so i advise that if you want to use this route to apply for us visa don't just apply to any conferences at all look for conferences that like resonates to the program of your study so that when you go to the consular and they're asking you like yeah you're, you're an engineering student and you're going for like a conference in social sciences like it doesn't really correlate so i advise you i know a lot of students who use conferences to get like a u.s visa another way you could also apply for a non-immigrant visa visa that's a b1 b2 is using like a visit if you have a family in the u.s you could use them as a source like you're going there to visit your family probably they could get you an invitation letter or just tourism right i feel like being a student in germany you have an advantage of getting any visa you want because one for the u.s visa they want to see that you have ties in germany or in the country from where you are applying from obviously you should have a residence permit so as a student you are this you are a student that means you have ties that's your school you're not down with school so you apply for a u.s visa is not so hard okay so now let's go to the institutes of their applications now the application fee i don't really remember it was around 160 something plus the delivery i had to pay in total of around 180 euros or so i'm not so sure so you go for the visa interview and if you want they can like um deliver your passport to you after the interview or you go for you go and pick up their passport yourself right so in germany they have about four consulates or three if i'm not sure they have one in um berlin one in munich one in frankfurt i think one in hamburg i'm not sure but they, i'm not sure if the hamburg one is for visa interview but i'm very sure that the ones in um, munich berlin frankfurt they are for like visa interview so i chose to go to the one in frankfurt okay um yeah because i was just closer to frankfurt so i chose to go there and getting visa dates work is very easy in germany so like in ghana you have to wait for like so many months trust me getting um an a, a, a appointment date is very easy one most important thing to look at when you apply for a u.s visa you have to fill a form as to every application you have to fill a form so with the not immigrants visa b1 b2 visa there's this form they call the ds160 so yes this ds160 you fill it online and it's a very lengthy form guys it's lengthy you have to take your time so as you are filling the form make sure to save the page because um you know it could time out and then you have to start all over again so i advise you fill your ds160 why is you filling your form? You are saving. Now, one very important thing I will advise you, this DS-160 form is very important. I know that sometimes when you are, when we are filling forms for some applications, we do it like a dasica. No, this is not a form where you have to just do it anyhow. Do it very, very well. Because this DS-160 already gives the, the visa officer a pre-informed decision about you. So wherever they ask for every information, put everything correctly. The, it should look... If all your names on your passport, let's just be like that on the DS-160. They even have a section where they ask for your job experience. Put in your job experience just as it's in your CV. Don't be like, oh, I'm just going to put one experience. Put in everything. That like makes you stand out, okay? That's for traveling experiences. In Europe, you travel to Luxembourg, put every country there. This already gives the visa interview like a pre-informed decision. Like, oh, okay, this form is like well-filled, correct information. You have these job experiences like fill every fill the form like very very well okay ds 160 form is very important and when you're going for the visa interview you don't forget your confirmation your ds with it after filling the form you get a confirmation this is very important you don't have to forget about it right so okay let's go to the visa interview so as i said for my visa interview i went to the frankfurt consulate <laughs> So make sure you're not late Um, go there early so that you settle in and all of that. When you go, you know, when you attend to things late, especially very important stuff late, you lose confidence and you're, you're sweaty and you're panting and all of that. 
go early settle down relax prepare very well for your interview okay now for my interview <laughs> you guys will not believe like the visa officer didn't even ask for even one document he didn't ask for my bank statement not even um my my conference letter like he didn't ask for all of those things it was just questions and under two minutes i got my visa approved just like that it wasn't just like that i prepared well okay one thing i'll advise you eh, this is for every interview not only like visa interview before going for interview prepare adequately prepare adequately you are going for a conference what do you know the conference what's the conference about what are some of the speakers who are going to be at the conference what do you tend to learn from the conference how is the conference going to impact you like probably they won't let me ask all these questions but like I'll, i want you to like prepare adequately one thing about preparation is it makes you very confident and then when you're in front of the person interviewing you this is also for job applications i'll talk about job applications here yeah, and everything interview how to ace it and all of that but today is for visa interviews and all of that so yeah per any not only us us interview any interview at all be very confident like prepare when you are well prepared you are so confident and you're not scared so one another tip during your interview look straight into the other visa of, look straight into the eyes of the the visa office and look it eye to eye like that makes you like shows that we are so confident when, you're, when your head is down looks like you're timid you're not sure of what you're saying so yeah the question the first question he asked what's the purpose of your travel um was um what's your program um what's the purpose of your travel um, what is the conference about? Are you a student in Germany? Yes. What are you studying? Um, what are you, he also asked me, um, what are my plans after graduation? I said it. And I also said it like, um, obviously, and also where I did my internship, it was an INS steel company, one of the biggest INS I'm really grateful for. I'm really grateful for where I did my internship. Really boosted me. It was an INS steel company, also related to the conference I'm going to. And like all these things made i think all these things like gave me an advantage of um getting my visa okay so yeah you just have to know how you answer your questions well don't don't make your your answers too long make it short and precise and well understanding because the thing is here yeah, these visa officers they don't know anything about you you are the one presenting yourself so present it well where is the conference? You should know. You are, going, you are the one going for the conference. You should know where the conference is. What is the conference about? Um, what are, uh, yes, what are, where do you do in Germany currently? Oh, you're a student. When do you tend to complete school? He asked me that as well. The program of study, material science. And he asked me the program of study. And, well, that really correlates to the conference I'm going to. So all these things really play a role. And, oh, one thing I shouldn't forget is when you're applying for a conference, as a student, don't go for paid conferences. Some some conferences are very expensive, right? You go for conferences that are really affordable, like fifty dollars. Maybe some conferences are even for free. Go for such conferences, because as soon as you go for conferences that are so expensive, like five hundred, they're like you could get denied because you are still entirely able to afford this. They don't care, you know. So yes, I said this visa officer like asked me all these questions. This my questions were not so much because of travel, what is the study, I've mentioned all of that. And to my surprise, I was like, okay, your visa has been approved. I'm like, wow. Before my visa interview, I printed all the documents, my um, my bank statements, I had my residence permit, my student be shining, your student, I had my student enrollment, a lot of supporting documents, okay. <clears throat> that shows that yeah i i can go for this conference i can afford this i'm going to return but like this visa interview didn't even ask for one document like you know that's why i say that you should always your ds160 any vital information you think they should know put it there it's very important so yeah and also um if you are not in material science and you're looking for other conferences i would i would recommend my moon i'm going to put it in the description box you can check out check out my moon it's about un conferences and stuff you can you could check that as well and i think those ones are for free you know some conferences are paid but if that's an advice don't go for the most expensive ones you know those really expensive conferences those conferences are mostly sponsored by like company when you're working with a company and they want you to go for a conference those ones they pay for you but if you're a student and the visa interview the, the officer they'll be wondering how you'll be able to afford that and you know so yeah 
oh i shouldn't forget one thing i had one of the documents i also added when going for my visa interview before going for my visa interview i already booked like accommodation where i'll be staying um where i'll be staying when i in when i, when I go to columbus or high for the conference i already booked my accommodation a hotel and everything for like that period of time that i'll be there i printed the confirmation out just in case they ask me i have that as well so i i, I did that and i did a um, you know how some hotels you can you pay like a day before you arrive so you do you have that option to do that you don't have to like pay um pay as soon as you book the hotel or the airbnb so you have that option i use um what's this site booking.com to do that too make sure before you even go for your visa interview you have where you are going to stay already just in case they ask you where you'll be staying you have it you don't necessarily have to book a flight that one is really important but accommodation if you're a student get your student enrollment if you're working in gym get your working contract add your bank statement just in case they ask you for me as i said they didn't ask me all of that but then just just in case they ask you so yeah this is how i got my five years us visa and i'm going to and i'm back and then yeah i gotta work so i have to come back and make money <laughs> but yeah the u.s being there i may probably i'll make a video about some of my culture shocks as in the u.s versus i've been living in like germany so we see some differences like u.s or germany anyways it was a great time in the u.s i love the but yeah you guys know i'm pro germany or pro europe so yeah we're back and also i feel like am i going to return like one thing is like yeah I will never stay in a country illegally forward. Once I have a good life here, like I have everything going on well for me. And then I guess like a US you no know, immigrant visa, then I move there and I'll be, and I'll be, and I'll be struggling to, to, to get a paper. Like no way, no way, no way. So yeah. So if if you just want to go for a visit, that's fine. And yeah. Anyways, I'm talking too much. Thank you guys, and I'll see you again in another one. Stay safe, stay blessed back again. Bye.